Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins. I'm a Linode developer advocate. And what we're gonna be doing in this video is checking out a tool from Akamai. This is Infection Monkey, and they themselves have a ton of products and services that you could benefit from. And this right here is one of them. Essentially what Infection Monkey is, is a open source security tool that you can go ahead and use to test data center resiliency to perimeter breaches and internal server infections. And if we go over here to their website, you can see a lot of the different tests and whatnot that we can run, including the zero trust assessment tool and attack simulations, which will help you discover network and security flaws in no time. And of course, there is a whole bunch of documentation to help you truly discover all the various tools and features within Infection Monkey so you can fully utilize it to help your system's security. Now, what we're going to be doing specifically in this video is using Infection Monkey on our local network or my local network to see if there's any exploits or any security issues that I need to look a little deeper into. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to run Infection Monkey on my laptop connect it to my home lab and have it try to penetrate my entire local network. So to go ahead and download this, you're gonna to wanna to click the free download and fill out all this information in which they will provide you an email with more details on what to do. And then within that email, you are going to get a link to download it as well as a link to this specific page of the documentation. Depending on what you downloaded, whether that be Docker, Windows, Linux, et cetera, you're gonna to want to click on the appropriate guide to see what to do with the file that you downloaded. In our case, we downloaded this file right here, Infection Monkey for Linux, this is a zip. I went ahead and extracted it to our home directory. So from there, what we're gonna to want to do is open up our terminal. And if I go ahead and LS, we could see it right there, Infection Monkey Linux. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this to make sure it is executable. Paste that on in and hit enter. And of course, make sure that we actually have the appropriate file name, hit enter. There we go. And now to start it, we simply have to run dot forward slash and then the entire name of the app image file, hit enter and then you can see it starting to launch here. And then what we could do is head back over to this guide here and copy this localhost 5000 port. That is how we are gonna to connect to it. Let's open up a new tab here, paste that in, hit enter. We have a potential security risk ahead, it's ours. So we're just gonna go ahead and accept the risk and continue. And here we are. This is our first time use, so let's go ahead and create a little username and password. I'm gonna make it pretty simple. And then let's go. So here we are in Infection Monkey now. Now you have choose scenarios. It says check the Infection Monkey documentation up for more information on the specific scenarios. But what we're gonna do is just go with this first one here, simulate a ransomware attack or infection in the network. So I'm gonna select that. And from there, you can either run the monkey, configure the monkey or read more, which will take you to various documentations. If we do click configure monkey, here we can see specifically all the exploiters that we could go ahead and select as most of everything ready to go. This is the exploit user list and just randomly generated passwords. So if we go back up to run monkey, now we have the option from from island or manual. Now I'm gonna go manual. Now what I'm gonna be doing is testing a server that I have running Jellyfin at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this over to Linux 64-bit. So then I could go ahead and copy this curl command here. So I'm gonna copy that and then connect to that remote machine. And in my case, it's just gonna be through Proxmox here. So here's my Jellyfin container. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the console and then paste in that command we just copied over from Infection Monkey. Hit enter. And then it's gonna go ahead and run and you can see it's actively working there. And under Affection Monkey, we can go to the infection map. And here we can see, it has, zoom out a little, we can see here it has a connection and it's starting to uh, find all the local, uh, local networks. And we can see there it's starting to find even more systems. And it's just kind of scurrying through our network and looking for any vulnerabilities that it can find. And we can see back here in the command prompt, it's doing some work too. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it work and later or in a minute, we'll come back and really dive into uh, our security reports here. I, I, I love the animations. <laughs> And there we go, it is just about done here. If I go over to Proxmox, we can see the monkey is shutting down. And we can see it did a really good job about detecting all the various machines on my network. This is our monkey island or where we started from, connected to our Jellyfin local. And from there it found my NAS and a whole bunch of other machines, including an Ubuntu server over there. A lot of these unknown are just random devices on my home network. 
This Debian 5 right here is this actual Proxmox server in which this Jellyfin is running inside of. And of course, we could go ahead and click on these to get some more information, including the services running, IP addresses, operating systems, and a log of all the exploits that it tried to run. More importantly, if we go over here to security reports, we can get a lot of information. Ransomware report, we can see that the uh, monkey discovered 10 machines and was successfully able to breach zero of them. So that makes me pretty happy when it comes to uh, my overall network security. And of course for the actual attack, zero files because it wasn't able to get into anything. Under security report, we have more information. There are no critical issues found. And if we go to the zero trust report, we could get a uh, outline of how all this works including some of the failed tests. And the main thing right here to take note of is I have a lot of stuff on my home network as HTTP instead of HTTPS. So that was uh, one of the issues that it went ahead and found. You could see just the extent of all the details it gives you on everything. It's really nice. And from there, of course, we could go up, get the attack report, and you could just see the extent of all the stuff that I didn't actually try to do. And then, of course, you could always start over, reset the environment, and do this again if you'd like to, and actually customize and fine-tune everything that you want this to go ahead and test on your home network. Overall, it's a fantastic tool, especially if you're really trying to lock down and secure your network and make sure that it's very unlikely for something bad to happen. This is the tool for you. With that, if you enjoyed this video, please let us know down below. If you want to see some more Infection Monkey content, uh, let us know down below. Like always, this is a Linode channel. If you're interested in trying out Linode, there is a $100 60 day credit, so you could go ahead and get started up with ease. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. Check out the app marketplace. That is definitely where I go ahead and get started. And in addition to checking that out, you might as well check out some of the other videos on this channel. A ton of great cloud computing content if you want to go ahead and learn a thing or two. Uh, with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.